Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how to set up dual boot on Windows and how to set up Refind with Preloader to allow dual booting with Secure Boot. So the first thing you're going to do is shrink your Windows partition. I will link a video in the description for a full guide on how to shrink your partition if you encounter any difficulties. It should be quite easy unless you have like some options enabled in Windows. So you're going to select how much you want to shrink. I'm doing 256 gigs, so 256 times 1024. You're going to shrink by that amount and you'll find here you have your unallocated space on your disk, which we will not turn into a partition right now. We will let our OS installer make the partition by itself. So now we're going to go ahead and download our ISO image of our OS. I'm going to be downloading Windows 11 Pro Ghost Spectre Edition, which is basically super debloated. Everything is wiped. There's nothing on it, basically. So it's uh, good for gaming, but it does lose some functionality that you might need to add back manually. So you're going to go here and download it from the website. Everything's going to be linked in the description, but you can just use any OS that you want. So right here, we open the Google Docs from the download button and we're going to download the ISO first. We're also going to need 7-zip and Rufus. So right here on this link, pixel ID, I'm going to download the file. So just click right here, download, and you're going to need 7-zip for this specific uh, download to be able to extract and actually get the ISO image. And to extract, you're also going to need this password from the Ghost Spectre YouTube channel. Depending on which Windows version you have, the password is going to be different. So you're just going to save that. And then right here, we're also going to need Rufus, which will make the bootable image onto our USB stick so we can download it. So you're going to click here, open the Rufus download website. And once it loads, we're just going to download it. We're done with this page. So right here we have Rufus and you can download either the installer or the portable version. I'm going to download the portable to avoid like having an installer. So you can just open it directly and it will work. So let's just open up right here, our ISO image. We're going to extract it with 7-zip and the USB stick you need will need to be at least 8 GB or if you have like a smaller window, smaller, uh, Linux OS, you could use a 4GB, but I recommend 8GB or bigger. So you can see here, we extracted our uh, our image and we have our ISO. So now you can run Rufus and select your USB stick. And then you want to select your disk image. So right here, we have our Windows 11 Ghost Spectre and it's just going to load. This process will wipe everything from your USB stick. So if you have anything important on there, you want to make sure to save that. So you're going to keep all the settings the same. Do not change anything unless you have like a, an old 32 bit system without UEFI, UEFI. This process isn't going to work for older systems that are like legacy. You will need to uh, change the partition to MBR instead of GPT and refined isn't going to work with this. So. You're going to click on start and you can select on options here. I'm going to select disable BitLocker. So basically it's not going to encrypt the files. You, it doesn't really matter. You can just uh, not click that. So just configure everything to your liking and then you want to click start. Okay. And it's going to take a while, maybe 20 minutes. Once that's done, you can check your uh, USB stick and you can see it opened up and loaded all of these installation files so we can close out of Rufus now and eject our USB stick. Now you're going to shut off your computer and boot into your BIOS. What we're going to do is disable secure boot temporarily at the security tab and you're also going to go to the boot menu. You're going to disable fast boot. Well, it doesn't really matter, but I disable it. And then you want to make sure you have your USB device set to the top of your bootloader. 
so that when uh, your laptop or computer boots, it's gonna open your USB drive with your Windows installer or Linux installer first. So you're gonna exit saving changes with F10, and then you're just gonna reboot, and it's gonna load into your USB installer. So here we have the Ghost Spectre installer. We're gonna click on the Windows key right here at the bottom, and the setup will start. I'm gonna leave everything as default because changing the location could affect the process since this isn't an official Windows install. I'm gonna select the super light version with it, which is completely deep loaded. It doesn't even come with the Windows Defender. I would recommend though getting the one with Windows Defender since uh, not having an antivirus is risky. Then here you're gonna select your partition that is unallocated. So for us, it's the 256 gig partition. And you wanna make sure to not select the ones that have your other OS's. So just make sure triple check and select your empty unallocated space. So you're gonna click that, go next. It is gonna wipe everything on that partition and save it to like a windows.old folder if there is anything in that partition, but I don't have anything in it. And the process will do everything automatically. Then it's gonna reboot, getting ready. And once this loads, you're gonna be welcomed by the setup screen for your uh, OS. Every OS is gonna look different since this is deep loaded. It's just asking you to put a password and everything's already gonna be set up since there is nothing to set up since this Windows version is completely deep loaded. So let's just put in our password right here. Wrong password, let's try again. There we go. And once it's loaded in, we can see we are in Windows 11. So you're going to go to Windows and search for device properties, system properties right here. And you're going to put the system loader to Windows recovery uh, config environment first. And you're going to click OK. And then click OK again. This is just so that when you reboot, instead of opening onto one of your OSs directly, it's going to open the uh, bootloader so you can actually select which one you want. Now you're going to run command prompt as admin, you're going to do list disk and then select the disk that has your current Windows OS, the one you just downloaded on it. You're going to do list partition and then you want to choose the partition that uh, currently has your Windows that you're open. So for me it's Windows 11. So the one with 256 gig so you're going to do select partition and then the number of the partition then you're going to do shrink desired equals 100 and then create partition efi size equals 100 and then format quick fs equals fat32 then once that's done loading you're going to do list partition once again and you can see we created a new 100 megabyte efi partition that is going to store our EFI files for this Windows system. You're gonna select the partition that we just made. So for me, it's partition seven. And then you're gonna do assigned letter equals S. You're gonna do this uh, partition once again, just to verify it's still there. And then by doing list volume, it will show us our uh, new volume S that we made that has our EFI partition. So this will allow us to switch uh, OS's in Refined. Then you're gonna do exit, and you're gonna do this command right here. bcd boot c2 dots backslash windows forward slash s big s two dots forward slash f uefi. Just like that. And then the boot files will be created in our EFI partition. Now, we're gonna install Refined with Preloader. So if you go to this website, all the steps are there, but I will walk you through them. So you're gonna first of all, download the binary zip file that contains all the Refined files. And once that's downloaded, you're gonna go to your downloads and move that zip file to your C drive, to the root, and you're gonna extract it. 
and just here extract all extract and then wait for it to finish loading and once it's done you want to go back to the c drive and make sure that when you open the refined file it shows the files directly instead of having like two subfolders so if you if it doesn't show that you're going to move the folder back into the c drive to like uh, delete the double step folder next you're going to download the preloader so you're going to click on this link here you're going to download both preloader and hash tool and once they're loaded you're going to move them into the refined folder that we extracted so you're going to copy those and paste them into this folder right here refined folder then you see here we have our drivers since we're on windows 64 bit we're going to delete the ones that say a32 and a64 we want to keep the ones with x64 so we're going to delete both of those while keeping the x64 drivers we can close out of here and then we're gonna basically install refined so by going on this uh, page it's gonna show us the steps so we're gonna open command prompt as admin run as an administrator and copy this first command mount vol r2 dots forward slash s then we're gonna cd to the root but with a cd forward slash and then cd into refined folder and you're gonna run the command x copy forward slash f refined r2 dots backslash efi backslash refined backslash to copy all the files into our efi folder then we're gonna do r2 dots to change into our esp then you're gonna type cd efi backslash refined to change into our refined folder then we're going to rename refine.conf sample into refine.conf so you're going to paste that command in and then just uh, type uh, there to show all the files here then just ignore this command i'm just deleting a step that i did from before so you can see here we want to rename refined underscore x64.efi into loader.efi so you're going to do this command right here to rename this file just like that hit enter it's this step right here telling us to rename and then we're going to continue with the installation of refined so you're going to enter this command Then you're gonna do bcd edit forward slash set boot mgr with the squiggly brackets path backslash efi backslash refined. You want to enter the command exactly like it is. Do not change boot mgr. You want to keep the apostrophes, the brackets, everything. So you're gonna put in that command, but you want to remove and replace the refined underscore x64.efi with loader.efi since we renamed that file. So just like this. You're gonna enter that. And then if you like, this step is optional. Just uh, rename the uh, description of the EFI folder. So I'm just gonna rename it to refined bootloader and hit enter. Now, we need to register preloader.efi with the EFI. So just, uh, it's a simple command. It's one line. So you're gonna go here into our command line. We're gonna exit, open a new one, or you can just do the same one. You're gonna do mount vol r two dots for slash s to make sure your EFI file is uh, loaded. Then you're gonna do bcd edit for slash set squiggly brackets boot mgr then path backslash efi backslash refined backslash preloader dot efi you want to make sure that the path is the same one that uh, makes you go to the preloader dot efi file so we're just going to double check 
we're gonna cd into our uh, r so just do r two dots then we're gonna cd into uh, backslash efi backslash refined So just like that then we're gonna do that and you want to make sure you have all the files here you want to preloader loader.efi hash tool and the drivers so make sure they're all in this folder and then you can close out of this and boot into your bios now you want to turn off secure boot if it's enabled so disable it and then you want to make sure your refined bootloader is at the top of the boot order that you're going to exit saving changes and hope everything works. So once it finishes loading, you should get the refined screen. There we go. We have the Lenovo logo and here we are at refined. You're going to select this key icon to open the mock and you're going to click on enroll hash. The first, the first one you're going to do is loader.efi which is our actual refined loader so you're going to click yes then you're going to enroll hash for preloader.efi right here click yes and then the last one you're going to do it for the drivers right here x4 you're going to do yes and then you can exit out of this utility now, you can go back into your BIOS to re-enable Secure Boot. So just right here, go back to our UEFI. And then in Security, we're going to enable Secure Boot. Make sure Refined is at the top and Exit Saving Changes. Now, if you did everything correctly, you should see these messages and you will load into Refined with Secure Boot enabled. So now you can load ent into any OS you want. I'm loading into Windows 10, which is on the left, but it depends on how you set everything up. And here you see in Windows 10, it shows Secure Boot is enabled and we loaded successfully with Refined. So that's it for this video. I hope everything worked. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment if you need any help and subscribe if you want more content like this. So I will see you guys in the next video.